On the heels of battling with and often losing to fracking's advances over the past few years, a citizen's movement has taken flight in Colorado. The Colorado Community Rights Network is a grassroots organization working to advance statewide constitutional change. This effort, which is the first of its kind on a state level, will directly challenge corporate power and create protections for Colorado communities. The basic issue is do communities have the ability to decide this for themselves and we're saying yes, they should have the ability to decide what to allow within their own communities. It's a common story heard around the country. Huge corporations set up shop in a town, pollute the air, water and soil, and leave a mess when the money dries up. These offending corporations are able to work within the current system of corporate power and legal privilege to overcome the voice of communities. But times are changing. Towns and cities around the country are now using the platform of community rights to fight for systemic change. Lafayette is one of 150 communities that has passed local community bills of rights. Um, we are the first one in Colorado. We are not the first one in the United States. Many of them have been on the East Coast and Midwest areas, some dealing with factory farms, some dealing with sewage sludge dumping, um, and some dealing with oil and gas extraction. Lafayette voted to implement their Community Bill of Rights in 2013 as a way to preserve their air and water and to protect their community from potentially harmful effects of fracking in close proximity to their homes and schools. Lafayette was swiftly sued by the Colorado Oil and Gas Association. The neighboring cities of Longmont and Fort Collins were also sued for attempting to stop fracking. As of September 2014, the oil and gas industry has won early court rulings against all three of these cities. Lafayette is the only town to have issued a countersuit to defend their community bill of rights. We are not going to get anywhere going, we know this now, to the state legislature. We're not going to get anywhere going to our uh, congressional representatives. In the summer of 2014, federal congressman Jared Polis collected 250,000 signatures from Colorado voters, which were intended to give Coloradans a vote on fracking regulations. At the 11th hour, he pulled those signatures in favor of a compromise with the state and oil and gas industry. Most importantly, this agreement puts citizens directly at the negotiating table. How does creating a commission and taking this off the ballot essentially put them at the negotiating table? The uh, commission uh, will have uh, two co-chairs and 18 members. Local communities are now starting to say, wait a minute, um, this is not what we choose for our community. This is not how we envision our community to be. We do not want toxic industrial activities near our schools and playgrounds and our homes. And we believe we have the right to say no. And we have the right to override this kind of corporate state connection that is basically attempting to crush these movements in local communities. I see it as giving the voice back to every individual person, that you're actually going to have an influence on politics and on your community and on your environment and on your world, whereas right now I don't feel like we really have that much influence on that. It takes work. you got to know what you're doing and you got to explain to people why we need this. The work of the Colorado Community Rights Network is unprecedented. It is taking the concept of community rights and placing it on a statewide platform. It is offering a solution that does not rely on politicians nor on a system of law that is stacked against communities. It relies on normal people like you and Sasha. Colorado Community Rights. I think there are a couple of other states that are watching what we're doing that will pick up our language and that will use it as well. So what can you do to help? The Colorado Community Rights Network needs citizens to participate in the campaign to get a community rights initiative on the state ballot in 2016. This movement also needs financial support. No statewide ballot initiative in Colorado has ever made it to the ballot on the backs of volunteers alone. While this organization has formed a strong base of volunteers from over 20 cities in Colorado, it will need to educate and pay trained canvassers, organizers, and staff to get the job done. Please consider donating to the crowdsource campaign today. 
The Colorado Community Rights Network hopes that with your help, stories like those in Lafayette will become more and more common. And in 2016, the state of Colorado will become the first state of many to amend our Constitution in the name of community rights against corporate power. <laughs>